uh, could you perhaps uh, compare and contrast between uh, a digital twin and a digital thread? Yes. Um, again, it's a question that we get a lot because there's a lot of confusion around these digital um, subjects or digital concepts. Um, and a digital thread uh, um, is, is typically the, the, uh, the unique birth record of a, for, uh, um, with the actual data for either an entity or a product and all its components. Um, it, it kind of captures all the interactions from when it was started, how the design, um, right through to how it was manufactured, the conditions where it was stored, um, and how it was maintained and, and how it was disposed. So across the life cycle of a other component or a, uh, a machine or, or uh, even something as complex as, a, a, as an aircraft, um, we would have the, the, the birth to disposal record ac across everything. Um, it, from a digital twin perspective, the focus, so that is a horizontal kind of life cycle view. From a digital twin perspective, our focus is act we actually use some of the digital thread information in creating a digital twin, which is more, if you can just picture it, more horizontal. Um, at a specific point in a life cycle, I will, may want to predict the likelihood of a machine failing. So I'll use some information in terms of real-time data, um, operational data from a, uh, um, from a production line, some weather data, some of that, and, and also the maintenance records, which could come from the, the digital uh, thread itself. So uh, w the, the digital thread can exist without a digital twin, um, but more than often the digital twin will consume information in the digital thread. The best example that was given to me was actually from an engineer at Boeing who said to me, the, 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 w when we decide on a fleet of aircraft to which aircraft to maintain, we go to the digital twin. It is hired, it is done around a specific use case to look at maintenance optimization of which aircraft should go in next from a, from a, from a maintenance point of view. When I look at the digital thread and I have a problem with one of the, the components, um, I can see exactly what the design was of that component, which other aircraft it's gone into, and I can see the whole birth to death record of a specific component. So if I need to go and find every other plane that has got that same faulty piece of equipment, I use the digital thread. If I know which one, if I want to know which uh, airplane to maintain, I go to the digital twin.